Hey, this is Damon with Haggerty and our Redline Rebuild updates. We are kind of in limbo land still, uh, waiting for shop time and parts to arrive and all that type of stuff. So we got looking at our Subaru out back and decided, uh, and that's Subaru out back yard, not an outback. This is an Impreza. But anyhow, did you get the pun? Because I kind of thought it was funny. Oh well. Yes, it's a dry day. So anyhow, we want to go through and we're gonna completely strip down this car for what it's worth in parts because here's why. It's not a fine specimen of Subaru uh, longevity because it's rotted pretty bad. You can see up here, the sway bar link is no more connected to the wishbone. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of a song. But the sway bar is not connected to the frame anymore and uh, that's one area. And you get up into this area here, you start getting into, you know, rotted supports. Obviously, we already talked about the stuff up front. It's, it's in bad, bad shape. We're not gonna try to salvage this. Uh, so, but what we're going to do is we're gonna strip all the drivetrain out of it. So we've already got, obviously, the engine and the front transaxle and the subframe mounts. Those are all out. Now we're gonna move to the back and we're gonna, watch that picker. Uh, now we're gonna move to the back and get the rear axle out of here and, uh, and, and what's here for rear suspension. And then of course we'll go up top and get the computer and all that mechanism out because we're gonna need that to fire up the engine on the stand. And at the end of the day, this is bent really bad. I didn't catch that before. Look at that. Huh. If you're lifting a really rusty vehicle up, be careful. I'm not gonna tell you not to do it, but be, be careful. So in our case here, I need to get to this mount to get this out of here. And you can see the rocker is not such a great spot. The pinch weld is gone, but we'll make do. We have a extra support right here. So it should not fall on my head. Cool. Lower it down, start on the struts get the wheels off, drop the rear suspension. That's plan A. We'll see how it rolls. You ever get a feeling that it's getting worse? <laughs> yeah, give me just a little bump. Good. <clears throat> All right, so at this point, 
I have everything I have for there <laughs> that I'm comfortable with without this falling out. So struts are off. Obviously the front control or the lower control arms are unhooked from the body. Sway bars out. I think all I have is six bolts here left for the cradle. And then that whole thing should drop down. I'm going to set it, maybe not gingerly, but set it onto our cart just like we did the motor and uh, hopefully that'll make it nice and smooth but I'm gonna get it close I'll take my support out of here and lower it down while the body's still holding up now the trick is I gotta have room to work the fronts won't be bad at all because those are all clear these aren't too bad. This one here, I bet you we just beat off. Because <laughs> there ain't much there. But we'll try to spin it. Let's see what it does. Let's see. did but it jumped back on uh, How do you think here? well so now the task at hand is finding and saving the engine harness uh, yeah great yep More zip tie It's like a treasure hunt. Mad treasure hunt. That's how you do that. There it is. That one we gotta keep, just in case. I really just enjoy stripping it. Now we can see the harness. Why did you do that? Because we like taking it apart. Why not? No better way to learn. You want fuel efficiency in your car? Get rid of all the electric wires. Because the amount of weight is stupid. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Who knows? We had fun at least. Look Actually, you know, that was fun. I won't, I, won't, I won't take away from that. If you ever had to do any under dash repair where you actually cared, this is exactly what you wanted to do after about 10 seconds of being up underneath it, is just yank everything out of it and 
reckless abandon and well here you go but look at the sexy pedals that are underneath there aren't those cool so at, at this point other than maybe taking the pedals out of it uh i think we're done we've <laughs> this is our version of uh chop cut rebuild uh we basically just chop and cut we're not going to rebuild this we need the wiring harness so we can start that engine up on a test stand and I, I guess the rest of this can be made into small cubes and somebody's coffee tip. So here's my rockauto.com tip of the day. Whenever you can reuse parts, pretty simple, right? Pull them out, salvage them, recondition them, so on and so forth. But when you can't, go to rockauto.com and buy the new ones. But don't be afraid to put some forth don't be afraid to put forth some effort in saving what you already have. That always saves you money. So with that, <laughs> get out in the shop, go get your work done, because you probably got some rusty parts there that need to be cleaned up or, I don't know, something else. See ya.